All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Madden 12. A little tweak to it that, that I've done to make it feel like Madden 22. Now, on the entire preseason, every team, as you can see, it's a position battle. In every position, well, not every position, but positions that they think, you know, need some competition. And for us, you know, right now, you can see wide receiver one is Henry Ruggs, followed by Zay Jones, Hunter Renfro. And throughout the preseason, whoever plays better, it don't matter your overall. If coaches feel like that you play better than the guy that have you, yo, they're going to put you in the starting rotation. But for us, um, I already pretty much got everything you know, my depth chart set. What the secondary, man? As you can see, we got Abram, we got Ha Ha Clinton Dix. I mean, we got uh, the Ricky out of uh, TCU. We got the hard hitting uh, Joseph. So we gonna put, I'm gonna pretty much figure out how to get all them guys on the field. Cause it's, that's too much talent back then in secondary. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm just gonna go over a couple of things before I get into the first preseason game like this. That's it, fan expectation. The higher that is, that's, you know, they gonna hold their team accountable, you know, for winning games. You know what I mean? So ours is pretty much over, you know, above average. We had a pretty decent season last season, so that's definitely a good thing. That's a good thing for fans expecting us to take that next jump. As you can see, see, you see this in the current Madden 22, but the previous Madden, they have this, man. And like I said, it's just a copy and paste thing. They had the weekly game pen. We are going against, you know, Zach Wilson, the New York Jets, and these are what we feel like, you know, three key plays that, that we should focus on. I mean, so um, we got halfback slam, we got the halfback cutback, and, you know, halfback screen. So anytime, you know, we see these plays, then you you know what they're pretty much doing. You see me? So that's definitely a good thing. And one last thing, you see positional breakdown. They give you you know, key players in the left-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner that, you know, we focused on. So, he won. We're facing a great, you know, corners, NFL corners as Pierre decide. I don't know about all that, but be careful. So, there's three things you need. Know, second, then we need to shut down Tevin Coleman. And we should let Derek Carr get in the rhythm with their secondary. But he'll have a great that's what it's gonna be expected. So you know what I mean? So Zach Wilson, he is far from polished at this age. Makes poor decisions. Pretty much he's a record. That's pretty much expected. But as you can see, you know, every starting position, they going they're going to give you, you know, what they, you know, what you should worry about. If you great, they're gonna say you great. Stay away from like somebody like Von Miller. They're gonna say, hey, let's double team this guy, or let's run away from the game plan is you know, <laughs> right around Von Miller. So that's definitely a good thing about these older Mads, man. Um, CJ Mosley, you know, one of the key guys, one of the best tackles in the NFL. So that's that's definitely a very, very good thing, man. So hang on here, I'll hold y'all long. Let's get straight into this gameplay. All right, here we are, man, taking on Zach Wilson in the New York Jets. Now, coming into this game, I feel like we got a pretty solid squad, especially up front. You know, linebackers, I feel like they, you know, they got some work to do. I said we're above average, and we are a nice tackle right there by the Ricky. Um, but secondary, I feel like we're coming along. So, um, that's, that's going to be our forefront for our defense. For our offense, I feel like we can be explosive. You know, I give Derek Carr a year or two. You know, to show that he can prove himself. But for right now, he's definitely the man. I feel like we have a good side of backup in Mariota. And Zach Wilson tried to take off running, and he goes down right there. You know, um, I feel like we got a good, solid, you know, receiving core. Nobody that really stands out as the number one no receiver. We wanted to hit Henry Ruggs right there, but Zay Jones with a nice first down grab. They double team Henry Ruggs, man. So like I said, we, I feel like we, overall we got a good solid team, and right here we should have set our feet and you know completed the pass. If that was the case, we would have had a first down. But third and eleven right here, good protection for Dave, Derek. Come keep saying David Carr, Derek Carr. If Henry Ruggs drop a pass, that's why I say it's no really no true number one receiver like you got in Arizona or you know Tennessee. As we force Terrence Coleman out of balance right there. 
You know, we just don't have that dominant number one receiver. Now, will we get that in the future? I believe he will. Nice bat it down. It's like the little things that, you know, in PS2 matters is like they slowly over the years took it out of game right here. You know, I don't know who that was, but he laid Josh Jacobs out right there. And we're going to give another chance to redeem himself. And Josh Jacobs up the sideline. And he nearly picks up a first down. Now, like I said, man, I went out on a limb. <laughs> like, uh, like on faith, man. You know, like I said, it's supposed to be on. It's Derek Carr, Audubon, and the play call. And good audible. Let's go. Nice block. Zay Jones down the sideline. And he picks up a huge gain. Like I said, I'm. I'm doing this out of leap of faith, man. I prayed about it. I slept on it. I talked to some YouTubers. And, oh, nice one. Let's go. Josh Jacob with the move, of course. Cut lead blocking. And just like that, man, we score our first preseason points here in the new season. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I, it's just a leap of faith, man. As they continue to feed Telvin Coleman. And I, I, I believe that, you know, all defensive front, we got depth, man. We have a lot of depth on the defense line. Zach Wilson, I don't know what you're doing in your rookie debut, but it's not going good so far. And right here, nice batted down pass right there. And Zach Wilson's not having, you know, that preseason, you know, hype, man. Now, I don't know who was that left guard rocking number zero. It's Kenya Drake trying to get to the outside and... You know, C.J. Mosley with a nice open field tackle. Now, as far as offense, I feel like we got a solid, you know, pretty solid offensive line right here. Edwards climbs the ladder and he picks up maybe a first down. But, you know, pull this out of back because Mariota, you know, good solid back. We got, we, we got depth all over at each position, I feel like. And... Josh Jacobs, of course, we got one of the best backs, probably the top 10 running backs in the league, I feel like. And other than that, you know, it's pretty much a wide, and it's like no dominant player in a position other than running back, I feel like. A sneak with a nice, uh, with a nice grab. But I feel like it's nobody's really, you know, you go to another team like, Chargers, you, you know, the receiving core, you know, Keenan Allen is that guy. <laughs> you know, it's uh, certain teams that you know, you know, he's the guy. And we got that on our team, but it just said running back. I feel like, oh, Honda Ruffle, oh, we tried to screen pass right there, but that goes to negative three as we tried to catch him off guard. But I feel like Henry Ruggs definitely, he can be that, you know, number one receiver, but he just needs to prove it so, man. As he, you know, get a good catch right there. That's going to set up a third and four. I feel like if we can, you know, especially at the uh, linebacker position in the secondary, I feel like if we can, you know, have that true number one, you know, player on defense, I feel like we don't have that yet. We will we'll get there. On the ref row with a nice catch, man. As we are inching closer and closer. To the goal line is so you definitely want to put some points on the board before halftime. First and 10, five wide receivers set. We're gonna spread him out. Plenty of time. And CJ Mosley with the bunny said, What a way to kill our trial, man. As you are with no points. Second half, I mean, it's still a second quarter. 46 second love. Nice hand off to Telvin Coleman. And we are right there. How I clean deeps. Nice, nice way to meet him in the hole for the open field tackle. All right, second and eight. Now, like I say, man, smash that subscribe button, man. Look at that game, even like game tackle, man. It's yo, like I said, I went out on a limb, like a, a leap of faith, man. I'm telling y'all, like for real, for real, man. It, it's it's got to work. <laughs> it's got to work, man. Definitely got to work. A second and 10, 20 seconds left now. I'm pretty sure that he's just going to run it. No, they don't. No. Corey Davis with a huge grab right there in 14 million. They tried to the field going. It was wide right. <laughs> wide right. He's handing off to Richards, and he up the gut for five, maybe six. All right, second and two. 
Like I said, we 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 have depth at every position, just not that dominant player at each position outside of running back. I feel like David Carr, you know, top fifteen, top twenty quarterback, but he just not that that guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So as the years goes on, as we doing this rebuild, you know what I mean. Right now, it still got it as the Oakland Raiders. You know, it says Las Vegas. I, you know, I will build a new stadium trying to replicate, you know, the Las Vegas. But, um, yeah, man, it, it, it's a good breath of, it's like, because the current Madden is, is definitely not, folks waiting for the scouting update. For the bigger YouTubers, it's no problem for them. You know what I mean? But for smaller YouTubers such as myself, it, yo, it feels good to be able to play at Madden that's actually fun, man. Like, actually, it stacks actually Madden right there. You talking about a walk-in touchdown? He dropped it. Mariota, nice grab. I'm, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name. But, and I don't know what's going on right there. Is we got a 14 to nothing lead hitting late into the game. And with the way the Jets are playing right now, and I feel like we got this game in the bag, though. But on all Madden, you just never know. Pitch to LaMichael P. Ryan, and he goes over. Nice open field tackle again by Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Yeah, man, it definitely, it's definitely a good feeling to be able to, you know, play Madden. Oh, Crowder with a grab, man. We had to save a, you know, open field tackle. That would have been six. As Morgan tries to take off, and like I said, we got depth on the defensive line, bro. We got the rotation. Somebody get tired, next man up, man. It, it's, it's, yo, I can't wait for this season to get started. As Morgan goes down again, let's go. That's one of our strongest, you know, position, man, on this team. I definitely feel like the defensive line, like, yo, we going to eat this season. Morgan, plenty of time. He throws it. And I don't know if y'all noticed that. Go back and look at that, man. He was covering the seam. He was smart enough to get back and bat away the pass, man. It's like, if that was the new man, yo, he would have caught that. But, you know, being that the defender actually left the prison, he was guarded and noticed the open receiver, yo, you, you can't get better than that, man. So right now we just gonna run out some clock man like i say watch this video all the way man all the way through subscribe hit that notification button man and now we'll do it like uh starting october 4th i will have a set schedule and that is in my community tab man and yo i'm i'm just yo i, I keep saying it man i'm doing this out of leap of faith i took some time off to think about it talk to some big youtubers Right here is Zay Jones with another crap, man. And that's going to do it, folks, man. Yo, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Like, for real, bottom of my heart, man. I, yo, just leap of faith. That's all I can keep saying, man. Leap of faith. And right here, Mariota had a nice, decent game outside of the end. It's 113 yards, one TD. 13 for 16, 81 completion percentage. Derek Carr, 50%, 2 for 4. You know, not, not, he didn't get that much playing time. We definitely don't want him injured. <laughs> definitely don't, man. Jalen Richards lit everybody at 74 rushing yards. Josh Jacobs, one touchdown, 29 yards. Mariota at 17 yards. Drake had five yards. So pretty much, I feel like, defense line and running the ball definitely displayed, you know, what, you know, the strong suit of this game. You know what I mean? So moving forward, I feel like the secondary needs to step up. Offensive line a little bit and, you know, Mariota, I definitely want to see what he can do, man. As we give up no sacks, so that's definitely a good look. You know, how I claim this lit everybody with four tackles. We had four sacks as a team, so like I got to say, defensive line is definitely going to eat, man. No interceptions, but that's okay. That's how I said. I want to see improvement from the secondary. Definitely. Brian Poole lit everybody with three tackles as well as, you know, CJ Mosley with six tackles. Davis added four. Austin and Poole had two, three. I mean, pretty much overall, it's a good game. Man. It's CR8. So next time, Corey Davis on that 47 yards, man. Not a good display for Zach. You know, Zach Wilson, as he only had, 
you know, 47. Besides that, you know, one long pass is not a good look, man. But it's CR8 here until next time, man. Hit that subscribe button, notification. So if you're new, until next time, go on.